All right, so we're going to learn how to create a 3D revolve for a bottle in Illustrator. The very first thing that we need to do, we need to create the profile of a bottle. For that, I'm going to go to Firefox. And in my search, I'm using Google, I'm going to type in bottle profile. All right, I'm immediately going to go to images and I'm going to look for a good profile for a bottle. I like this image right here. I'm just going to drag it onto my canvas and immediately I'm going to shrink it by selecting the image and using the free transform tool. I'm going to option click in the middle. I can go right here on the top. Perfect. I'm going to move my bottle. I'm going to reduce it a little bit more. Excellent. I'm going to open my layers. If your layers is not on the right hand side with the rest of the palettes, go to Windows, Layers. Here's my layer. I'm going to make sure that layer 1 is selected. I'm going to rename it and call it Sketch. Hit enter and I'm going to reduce the opacity of that layer. That way when I trace the profile of the bottle, the image does not overwhelm the pen tool. Once this is done, I'm going to lock my layer by clicking on this empty spacer here. I'm going to close it. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to select that layer. This is where I'm going to do the actual tracing. All right, let me zoom in. We're going to start with the pen tool. I'm going to click and hold my mouse and I'm going to go to this vertical bar and open the pen tools. I have them here to my side. And what I want, a fill of none with a stroke that has the color of that bottle. I've already sampled that color. So I'm going to go to my pen tool. I'm going to click in the center. Then I'm going to click and drag while I hold the shift key. This way it prevents my second anchor point from being off the same level as the first. So again, shift. As you can see, I cannot go up and down because I'm restrained by the shift key. Click and drag. Then I'm going to go to the side, click and drag. I'm going to go to the bottom, click and drag. And then I'm going to go here and just do a simple click. I'm going to move on my page by holding the space bar. I'm going to go here and do a click and drag. I'm not holding the shift key anymore. I'm going to go to the middle where this curve would end and this one would start. So probably like around here. Now I'm going to do a click and drag. I can always come back and readjust those handles. I'm going to go here and click and drag. And this area right here is going to be our label. So I want to make sure that this anchor point and the next one are aligned. So I'm going to do a click and drag. Then I'm going to go to the bottom, click and drag. I'm going to go right here, click and drag, click and drag here. And then once I get to the center, I am going to use click once. I'm going to hit the letter A to get out of the pen tool. And I'm going to adjust the curves where they need to be adjusted. So right here, what I can do is move this anchor point a little bit. I'm going to move this guy in and pull it down. It looks like I have a nice flow right here. Let me zoom in. These look good. Perfect. So what I want to do, I want to add a thickness to my bottle. So I'm going to use the add anchor point by creating an anchor point right here. Right. I'm going to hit A for direct selection tool. I'm going to move this guy down. And I'm going to use the add anchor point and create another anchor point right here. So now I'm going to use my anchor point tool and do a click and drag make sure that I'm going in the right direction, not this direction, but this direction, and I'm going to hold the shift key 
so that my handles go in a vertical direction. And now with the letter A, all I have to do is adjust this anchor point right here below to make sure that it's right underneath. I can move these guys to get a better curve. That's much better right there. I can also move these two guys in. So now my bottle neck will have a thickness. Now let's zoom out and see what our bottle looks like. So right now, as you can see, I have a bottle profile. Because this point right here is the furthest to the right, this will be my rotation point. All right? So I'm going to select everything. I'm going to hide the sketch. And we're going to go to Effects, 3D, Revolve. Here's our 3D Revolve Options window. And as soon as we hit preview, which is the very first thing you have to do when you get to this window, if not, you're not going to see a revolve surface, you will notice that our revolve is done from the wrong axis. Illustrator has chosen the left edge to revolve our object, as you can see right here, three quarters of the way down. So we want to change our revolve axis from left to right. And now we have a perfect bottle. All right, so if I rotate this cube right here, by just clicking in the middle and rotating, you will notice that our bottle mimics the movement of the cube. So think of this blue square right here as the front of the bottle. And if I keep rotating, this dark gray square right here as the back of the bottle. This will become very important when we map some artwork as our label. Alright, so I'm gonna move my cube right here. I'm gonna probably tilt it like this. I also have different options right here under position. I can go to front. I can go to back. And if you get some weird rendering of your bottles, it has to do with the video card of your computer. The 3D Revolve in Illustrator it's um, very memory intense, meaning that it requires a lot of memory and a lot of power in your computer. So don't be surprised if you get bad renderings when you use the 3D Revolve option window. Then we have isometric left, right, and top, and bottom. But what we're going to use is we're going to use the off-axis front. So if you for some reason, if you move your object and you get some weird wireframe on top of it, go to your surfaces, select wireframe, and then select plastic shading, and you will go back to the shading. So this is how to revolve a profile curve in Illustrator.